guys, in this video, we're going to be painting the flannel fur, which is a buffalo check red and black with the white Christmas tree. Um, to start, make sure you have your colors out on your plate, red, black, white, and an assortment of brushes. I've got, well, i got two of the same one here. I've got these three sizes. I think we probably really only need this one and this one and a jar or a cup of water and some paper towels. Um, let's get started by just getting that background filled in. Oh, just kidding. We need to Sharpie our tree. I don't know if it's gonna show, but let's try. Oh, my goodness, I'm struggling. All right, now we can do the background. So using my medium brush, I'm gonna mix up the like dark red color. I'm gonna just put some black and some red. You're gonna use about half of your red. So now we have all the colors we're gonna need. I'm actually gonna start painting with the red first. Just the plain red. So I'm gonna do all my stripes. Just getting my brush loaded up. So about the width of my brush. I think I did red first. I just painted this, hold on. Yeah. So I did a very quick rough version. So I just wanted to practice doing the buffalo plaid and since I did the whole canvas, I decided to throw a tree on it. And then I was like, oh, that's really quite cute. There should be a class or a kit. So here I am painting the video for it. Um, so we're gonna paint all our red stripes first. I'll explain. It's pretty easy once you get, get the gist. So just gonna go ahead about the width of my brush. And I really was very sloppy my first time. And it's still, I really think it's still cute. So even if you're not perfect, like this one is very imperfect and it's still very cute. So don't stress. I'm just gonna get the best you can to do nice straight lines. about the width of my brush for the other color and start my next line. If you wanted to go in and mark this all out with a ruler or use painter's tape, feel free to do that. Painter's tape would definitely have nice, perfect stripes if you have the patience. Again, about the width of my brush. That's all right. That color there is gonna be darker anywhere, so no worries. So about the width of my brush.
flip it a little bit easier. And just because it's a little wonky, that's fine. When I do the other color, I can clean that up. And again, like I said, the very first one I did, I just buzzed through it in about five minutes. And it was very imperfect and it still was cute. Now this one is going to be my white leftover area. It's a little thicker. That's okay. I'm struggling with my easel today. Everything wants to wobble. It's crooked. <laughs> Good enough. So I'm just going to kind of touch up where things look a little bit pink. Okay, so the other stripes I'm going to do, that might be too dark. I'm going to just take a little of that and mix it in with the rest of my red. I'm probably going to need more red. Give myself a little bit more red. If anyone was ever curious about the brand of paint I use, it's a uh, Blick acrylic. You get it at dickblick.com. You can buy smaller sizes. It just makes more sense for me to buy the large one since I use so much. Okay. I'm going to need quite a bit, I'm assuming. There. I want it dark, but not like that dark, I guess. And it does dry darker on the canvas. So I'm just gonna go in and paint the, the white spaces I left, dark red. And I can always go back in and clean up little spots, like that little spot needs some red. Again, needs a little red. But I'm very pleased to see that I could see my Sharpie tree. Um, once we put the black bits on, won't be able to see some of it, but I think you'll be able to get just enough to put your tree on. Flip it. That one got a little skinny on me. That's okay. 
I'm just gonna clean up my brush. Nope, I'm not even, not yet. So flip it one way or the other. Now we're gonna go, I'm gonna do this way. And I'm gonna do lines this way. And if you'd rather work the other way, feel free. I'm just gonna go across. I left the space. I'm having, oops, I'm getting paint all over the place. Managed to not get on me. the other way so I can get at the bit last bit so I just have one more stripe to go find about center this canvas doesn't stop rocking Now I'm gonna just give it a quick blow dry. I'm gonna touch up my red. smaller brush doesn't matter you can use your bigger brush mine's just full of this other color and I don't feel like cleaning it so I'm just gonna touch up you know what you can go right over you can go right over everything if you want kind of brightens up the dull red color too let me get my big brush I have a brand new clean one right here I'm just gonna take some red You don't have to do this. You could go in and just paint the bits that you need. But I think it kind of tones down the darkness of the... Oh, I somehow got my brush in black. We'll just rub it in. Let me get more red. I dipped it in. Where it oozed and it was underneath. Oh my God, I'm getting paint everywhere. I just got a big blot on the floor. You do have to make sure your canvas is completely dry if you do go over the whole thing. Otherwise, you're gonna smudge and smear everything.
just got a little carried away. Dry it. And now we're gonna put the black checks in. Um, big brush or medium brush, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm gonna use the medium one just to be nice and clean and crisp with my edge. And anywhere we have the dark stripes overlap, you're gonna paint that particular little square black. See, isn't that cute? I don't really need to do the ones inside the tree, honestly. But since I have started, I might as well. Only two more squares extra, so it's not like it's gonna take that much longer. Look how little crooked they are. Well, how cute is this? Such an easy thing to do. Paint some stripes and voila, you've got adorable buffalo check. This one is a lot, a lot neater than my first try. And there we go. That's the whole background complete. I'm just gonna blow it dry and we can start the tree. That's so cute.
for the medium brush, uh, make sure you get this really, really clean. You don't want any red remnants in your brush hairs. The water is gonna be slightly pink, red, whatever. I, I promise you it will not affect the color of your paint. Just make sure you get it dried out. But I mean, your home, feel free to clean out your water or just clean your brush out right in the sink, whatever floats your boat. Okay, so you have options here. You can just paint the triangle like I drew it, but I'm gonna make it fluffy so it looks like an actual tree. And the drawing I put on there is just kind of a guide so you know when you need to start getting wider. I believe my top is up in here somewhere. I'm just gonna kind of sketch it in. So I have the shape of my tree. And there's a trunk down there. Okay. This is just so I have a guideline that I can see well. I'm, I was just unloading my brush. I have a little too much paint. So at the top, nice and pointy. And then this little, you fluff it out. So on the outside edge, you're at an angle and then I'm gonna move across kind of in a row. And as I go across my lines, once I hit middle is straight up and down. And then I start angling the other direction. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way down. And as you get further down, your strokes can be longer or the same. Everyone has their own little style. We are gonna have to go in and kind of layer on more white up through here, just so we get good coverage. The background is really dark. Try to get on my little globbies. So I'm just layering back in, getting better coverage. I grab my blow dryer and dry it and give it a nice another coat. It's starting to get sticky. And when paint gets sticky and you try to paint back on top, you start pulling paint up and that that's a nightmare. All right, blow dryer. Just 
gonna layer on more just to get nice coverage. I don't want that background kind of poking through. And then just keep going until you're happy with the way it looks. I'm gonna call that good. If you feel like signing it, go ahead and sign it. I guess I will. Um, it's a little bit of this dark red. Maybe a little bit darker. Add a little water so that I can do it all in one swoop when the paint's a little thinner. It has a better flow to it. I just stick my brush in my jar of water and then just stir that little bit of water into my paint. And voila, super cute. Let me compare it to the first one I did that took me literally five minutes. I mean, that one's still cute. Gotta say, a little fluffier. But yeah, so even if you're sloppy, you can still have a super cute painting. This one's a lot of fun. It's really easy. Hope you enjoy and <clears throat> excuse me. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.